Hey guys, it's Mike Benton. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by to learn a little bit more about our lab. I'm so sorry we couldn't host you in person this year with the pandemic, but we really look forward to, you know, just telling you more about our labs and more about LSU. Uh, one thing that always stands out to me about our lab is just the diversity of research projects we have. We have people doing experimental work. We have people doing computational work. We're doing cell biology, molecular biology. We're doing process control. So we got a lot of different options for you. So in this video, we're just going to tell you a little bit about three of our projects we have going on with three of our different grad students. I'd love for you to email me and we can set up a time to talk either by email or phone or by Zoom just so I can talk to you in person, learn more uh, about you and you can learn, learn more about the lab. Thanks so much and take care. Hi, I'm Amber Pete. I'm the third year grad student in Dr. Benton's lab and the senior grad student. I'm the one who spends the most time in this lab. It's the sole, my primary lab that I work in, but I'm also co-advised with Dr. Barty. And I study bioremediation, mainly bioremediation of oil spills is what we've been working on so far. Uh, that project is finishing up using lignin nanoparticles that have been coated with chitosin, so essentially two natural uh, biopolymers that we use to enhance the bioremediation of a hydrocarbon aclastic bacteria, which is a bacteria that's just able to degrade hydrocarbons naturally. And we're able to greatly increase its degradation capability, so we're able to just take stuff that's waste and use it to clean up oil spills, which is a pretty, pretty good thing. And next, we'll be starting to look at how we can enhance degradation of microplastics and nanoplastics, which are becoming a very large problem in uh, the marine environment especially. It can be very difficult to detect and remove these plastics. So that's primarily uh, going to be our project soon. But there's also a lot of opportunity in this lab. Dr. Benton gives you a lot of freedom and allows you to pick the project you want to work on. So now I'll give you a walking tour of our lab. We do have a pretty large lab. It's bigger than most of the labs that are downstairs. Um, we have a lot of workspace and it physically in the lab currently I'm the only grad student so you would have a lot of space. You don't have to worry about bumping into anyone. Um, this is all of our glassware. This is a biotechnology lab so we have like our DI water, <coughs> our water bath, sonicator, our large centrifuge. We do have two. I think this is the, one of the most powerful ones in the department. It's used by a lot of people. Our hood, which we also use as a bio hood. We have these nice windows so we can see outside all day and have nice natural light so it's not gloomy. More workspace. As you can see, our computers, our small centrifuge, the thermocycler if you do PCR, um, the reader for the DNA electrophoresis, UV Viz, which is also used by a lot of people in our department, and the more workspace. And of course, since this is a bio lab, we do have a few incubators. We have our standing, our smaller incubator that shakes as a whole so we don't need shaker plates. It's lit, has a lot of space, so we don't ever have to really worry about crowding. Our two large standing incubators, and then our fridges, we have a four degrees a minus 17, and then we have a minus 80, which we also share with Dr. Melvin. And because our lab is connected to Dr. Melvin's lab, we also share a few other workspaces. We have a shared autoclave with more workspace in here, as well as a shared microscope room. I'm in my second year here at LSU, and I work with Dr. Benton and Dr. McPeak. My research has to do with chiral nanoparticles used for disease detection. Basically what I do is I create these unique nanoparticles that are small enough to be able to go into the human body without causing any destruction while there. And they're able to uniquely identify certain markers for these diseases. Hi, my name is Miriam Nadali. I'm a second year PhD student here at LSU. I am co-advised by Professor Benton and Professor Romagnoli. My research work is on single cell RNA sequencing analysis. Single cell RNA, um, it's really important because it helps us um, discover, identify, and characterize rare cell types. It also um, allows us to um, detect what's going on in the cell, and it's useful in, in discovering cancer, it's useful in microbiology and neurology. 